What a pleasant surprise I got today from YouTube. Number is a little bit outdated since currently I have 1,182,000 subscribers. I'm wondering how many subscribers I will have by the end of the year. What are your odds? Write in the comments. I'm gonna celebrate my golden YouTube play button, this quite unusual puzzle. It is a jigsaw puzzle, but the shape of pieces is quite interesting. The puzzle has 16 pieces, 10 of them can be corner pieces. This puzzle comes in three different versions. The first one is made of wood, and there are two others that are made from acrylic of different color. This one is dark green, this one is light uh, green color. This puzzle was sent to me by a company which is called Dual Brain Games. It is run by a father and a daughter, and they have a bunch of other amazing puzzles for sale. So if you like how the Nexus 16 puzzle looks and you wanna try some other puzzles from Dual Brain Games, link will be in the video description. And now I'll try to solve that Nexus 16 puzzle and let you know at the end what I think about this puzzle. So let's try to solve the Nexus 16 puzzle. It looks easy at a first glance, but I'm pretty sure it will be much more difficult than I think. So this looks quite easy to put together. So here we need a corner piece, something like this one. Yeah, what's interesting about this puzzle is that it has a lot of corner pieces and the rest are edge pieces. Uh, there are no middle pieces. It will be difficult, difficult to find which one goes where. So, for now it looks pretty interesting. Yeah, this is not correct for sure. Ah, uh, okay. I already have no piece. Oh no, I have a piece that I can put here. I don't believe I saw a piece that I can put in this spot. Okay, so maybe there is a little bit of logic here, since there are only two and two. Only these pieces that I can put together. The rest parts, they don't have these uh, two cutouts next to each other or two pieces next to each other. So this is the only option how I can assemble these four pieces. So I can put them aside and try to figure out the rest. Maybe I don't have to put them aside. Maybe I will use it as a corner piece. It will be obviously a corner piece. It may be not, but... And this one, maybe it will be here. Maybe it will be on top. I don't know yet. Okay, I'll stick to one first. This is not the correct one. I can put... Oh, I, can, I can't put this piece here. Okay, let's see how many variations of pieces I can put here. I can put this one, I can put this one, I can put this one as well. There are actually only two pieces that I can put here. Either this one or this one. Let's see what can be next. I don't think there will be a lot of pieces that I can put here. I can put this one and probably... Oh, I can put this one and it will go on top. And I can also put this one. It is very similar to this piece. Okay, let's see what I can do next. I need a piece that will be a corner. That I can put here. That looks quite good. And it seems like this is the only piece that I can put here. And it will be a corner piece. What if I put this piece here? Which one I can put on top? Not this one. It seems like there are no pieces that I can put in the... Okay, so far it looks quite logical here. Let's see what I can put into this spot. Obviously not this piece. I can put this one. I can put this one, but, the, but then there are no or cutouts or pieces that I can connect with another. Okay, so there are only two pieces that I can put here. This one or this one. I think it's time to find a piece that I can put here. And this is the only one that I can fit in this spot. Here I can put this part or this part. Okay. Everything looks quite smooth and easy so far. And I have like almost a half of the puzzle assembled, I have one, two, three, four pieces that can be corner pieces and these two, they will be in one of the corners. 
but I'm pretty sure this part is correct. I might be wrong, we will see when I will have one or two pieces left and I will have no idea how to solve it next. Okay, let's see. Here, it's definitely gonna be a piece like this since there are no connections here. So it can be either this piece or this one. They are, oh, they are exactly the same. Okay, in a corner, I can put this piece, but then the rest will be like a separate piece not connected to the rest of the parts of the puzzle. Okay, this one can be fit here. Let's see what I can do. I can put these parts here. This one will be somewhere in a corner, maybe like so. This one goes here. Uh, okay, I see that there are no options how I can connect this piece with some other parts. Okay, <laughs> everything was perfect until I came to this part. Maybe from the very beginning everything was not correct and this piece is not supposed to be here, it's supposed to be in other corner. Okay, let's, let's take it apart and start from this piece in the left corner and keep this aside. Again, same logic. I'm going to try to connect all pieces and then hope for the best. So this piece goes here. That looks nice, but I think I think that I need to find something else. Maybe something no, not like this. Since there is no connection on top here, but I want to find a piece that will be connected with the piece on top. Or maybe I don't have to find it. Or maybe there are no such pieces that will be connected on top. Yeah, I don't, I don't see even a single piece like so. Okay, so what's next? Something that will go here and something will be in this corner. Probably something like this piece will be in the corner. What, what other options do I have? I have two exactly the same corner pieces. Yeah, one of them fits here. There are, oh, there is another option, this piece. Okay. Um, let's put this one and see what I can connect it with. Uh, that looks quite nice, but I don't know. Maybe I have to use one of these pieces here. Uh, no, I can put them. Oh, I can put this one. So another piece, it will be not so difficult to find what I can fit here. It will be either this one or, or there are no other options. That's awesome. Oh, I can't fit this piece. I already did something wrong. Oh, maybe I can just flip it. No. Yeah, I have to remove this part and put something different here. Maybe, oh, there is a similar piece that I can put here and then attach this part. Okay. And the next one. Next one will be here and I can probably put one of these parts. Oh. I can also put this part or this part. So there are there are options. There are options what I can do. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll stick to this one. Let's see what I can put in a corner. And I already see that there are no options for this piece since there are no corner pieces. So it will be, oh, this one looks great. Now I can put something facing down here. Maybe this piece will be here. Uh, it will be a challenge to put, oh, maybe, maybe it will be like so. Let's see. One, two, three. No, I don't, I don't think that I will be able to finish the puzzle. Mm, this piece is odd. I can put this here, but then, okay, that is very close. Um, this fits here. This piece can't fit here. Something went wrong. Okay, maybe I can put this piece here. I need a piece that I can put in this part, but there are no such pieces. Or maybe this one is, is wrong. Let's see, maybe here I can put something like so. Then this piece goes here. This piece fits here. <gasps> 
Done! Haha, <laughs> solved! That was quite fun and interesting jigsaw puzzle and actually it has some logic. At first I thought it will be completely random and I will spend a lot of time trying to figure out how to put all parts together. But then I found that not all parts can go uh, with each other and there are some pieces that will go only in a specific spot and that really helped me a lot to figure out the correct solution. So it's a great and unusual jigsaw puzzle if you enjoy solving all kinds of jigsaw puzzles this is a must-have in your collection so if you like the nexus 16 puzzle and you want to buy it link will be in the video description and if you enjoyed this video hit the like button subscribe and see you in my next video